Hey, some exciting e-commerce news you might be missing out. Amazon Prime Day is knocking at the door. There is a new tool that easily creates engaging and vibrant images on Amazon. Registration is now open for Amazon Accelerate 2024. New customer review insights are available. Virtual packs are now available in Walmart. TikTok and Temu are setting some new game plans. These stories and more on today's episode of e-commerce updates and news from June. How exciting is that? Pretty much, I think. Amazon announced the Prime Day date, which will take place on July 16th and 17th. So it's a must for the sellers to take full advantage of the Prime Day. You can create Prime exclusive discounts, coupons or sponsored product campaigns at any time before or during the event. If you submitted a deal and sent the inventory to fulfillment centers, your deal will be eligible for promotions in Amazon store as well as on external channels. Amazon new AI power tool help advertisers easily create engaging and vibrant images. This image generator has been out for quite a while. You can upload an image and then create different backgrounds for that image. And now there is a new improvement. The cool new thing is, it will pull insights from product descriptions and customer reviews to create ad-ready images. There are some things that I would like to mention. The first thing is you don't have to worry about creating a prompt that much. This AI is gonna scan your listing and probably gonna add some of its own flavor in the image. Even if you don't specify every detail in your prompt. The other new thing is you can now create images of different formats because you know there are different ad types and there are require different type of expect ratios so this will fix some of the big problems of this ai powered image generator tool speaking of ai uh, one more update about this topic another article here is entitled amazon announced expansion of generative ai listing tool to seller across europe now it is fully available in france germany italy spain and the united kingdom amazon is also planning about the new ai based algorithm named cosmo it is a large-scale e-commerce common sense knowledge generation and serving system that serve the exact search result searched by the Amazon customers. We have already published a separate video on this AI tool. The link is in the description. Amazon Accelerate 2024 registration is now open. This is the annual seller conference which will be held on September 17th to September 19th, 2024 in Seattle, Washington. You know, this is an excellent event. You will get first-hand knowledge directly from Amazon leaders. They will unveil new innovation. You can forge valuable connection with peers and Amazon experts. Thousands of sellers and community members will be there. The deadline for this registration is 14th July. The in-person registration price is $499. In-person seats are limited, so register today. The next article is from CNBC. It says Amazon has removed 95% of the plastic air pillows from its packaging in North America and will replace them with paper filters. It's Amazon's largest plastic packaging reduction effort so far, and it will help to remove almost 15 billion plastic pillows annually. And they are planning for a full removal of plastic from their packaging by the end of the year. The next update is actually not in a news article but a LinkedIn post by David from Cellcord. He announced virtual packs are available on walmart.com. This thing is kind of similar to what we know as virtual bundle on Amazon, but it has a couple of advantages according to David. You know, on Amazon, if you sell virtual bundle, you don't get any discount on your fulfillment fees, but according to this is in WFS, you are actually getting a discount for multiple packs. And you don't need to create listings one by one. So it's pretty cool for the Walmart sellers who want to sell multiple products together. The next news article is from TheVerse.com. It says TikTok shop is huge for the beauty industry. Now let me tell you how big. TikTok shop is ninth biggest online beauty and wellness retailer in the US and the second largest in the UK. It's cool to see how social media platforms are reshaping e-commerce. TikTok shop allow brands and influencers to directly sell products in the app by linking them with videos. Beauty content is one of the most popular type of videos on TikTok. 
some creators make a living by sharing tips or testing out products so you can see the power of video for online selling talking of beauty let's see where amazon stands in the particular area according to another article from civic science amazon is a top destination for brand focused beauty shoppers amazon is not only a top destination to start scratch for beauty products but it is also a leading market for beauty buyers to finalize a purchase so amazon is number one so long story short if you are selling beauty products on TikTok shop, make sure you are also selling them on Amazon as well. But branding is important in the beauty category. Now you will find the next article pretty interesting. It says Temo attracts more repeat buyers than eBay, challenges Amazon. This Chinese e-commerce has been in the US market for less than two years. This newcomer rapid growth create a big competition among the big fishes. Recently, a London-based online marketing firm conducted a survey. They have found some interesting trends among American online shoppers. It revealed that 34% of the respondents made purchases from the Temu at least once a month. This figure exceeds eBay, which is 29%. However, Amazon Cam continues to dominate the field. About 76% of respondents shop there at least monthly. Now let's get back to the TikTok shop. Do you remember what we said on last month budge? We said TikTok had planned to roll out its shopping platforms in Spain, Germany, Italy, France and Ireland as early as July. However, this new article says the company has decided to pause those expansion plans. It's not sure when it will get back on this plan, but one thing is sure, it's more focusing on the US market to avoid possible ban. One of the reasons behind this decision is the potential regulatory security, according to its report. They might need to revise their plan before moving there. And that's a wrap for this edition of Monthly Buzz. But before signing out, I would like to mention a couple of quick updates. You can now access new customer review insight to help launch successful products. Subscribe and save will launch for seller fulfill orders on June 27th. If you are watching this video after June 27th, then it's already launched and you can now find lower FBA rates with updated FBA enrollment opportunities tool. That's all everybody. We prepare this show every month only for you guys. We will try to cover wide range of exciting news and updates for the e-commerce sellers. We carefully sort and pick everything just to assure you are not missing out on anything important. So if you have enjoyed the show, please subscribe to our channel. See you in the next month with more exciting news. Till then, stay safe.